How many emotions are there? Five. Sure. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle, all the earth, everything that creeps on the earth. The fish, the fowl, the birds, the earth, the creeps. Now remember, Paul said first in the natural, then the spiritual. This is a book of symbolism. Ronnie, you can't, we can't take this literally. Well, I have authority over the fish. I'm going fishing. <laughs> what kind of bait are you using? None. I don't even own a fishing pole. I just go out there and tell them, get in my boat. <laughs> Oh, I feel like some roasted duck tonight. <laughs> Down here, now. That's not what it's talking about. I like. Oh, I'll leave you alone, amen? That's not what it's talking about. There is a spiritual symbolism. Let them have dominion over the fish, the fowl, the beasts, the creeks, and the, and the trees, or the earth. This, uh, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So whether you're a male or female in gender, you have this authority. But now wait a minute. A male and a female in the Old Testament symbolism of the writings of that day, a male was not just of the physical male gender. A male represented the spirit. A female represented the mind, the suke. The male is the pneuma. The female is the suke. This is where we get our modern word psychology because it has to do with the mind. Somebody say seed. The word seed comes from the Hebrew root spermos. In the Greek, sperma. English is sperm. So a thought is a sperm. A sperm has to be meditated on to get an imagination pregnant. And if you dwell on that thought long enough, you're going to birth what you dwelt on. Therefore, whatsoever a man thinks in his heart, that's what he becomes. Start thinking rich and you'll start seeing rich. Stop thinking broken, you'll stop being broke. Start thinking healed and you'll stop being sick. It all has to do with the marriage. In other words, God hates divorce. He's not just talking in the natural because He Himself had to offer the first divorce of mankind in the Garden of Eden. But yet he got remarried. Wow. Hello. Yeah. So God hates divorce. What does that mean in the spiritual symbolism? He hates it when the mind tries to walk in what the spirit does not live in. He hates it when a believer who has all the blessings thinks any other way than being blessed. You are living in a divorced house when your thoughts do not line up with the will of God. Did I tell you I'm leaving in the morning? Amen. Okay, now, now watch. So Say it with me. I have authority over the fish, the fowl, the beast, the creeps, and the earth. Now watch this. How many emotions do we have? Five. And I've told you in these teachings, all the voices you'll ever hear, they have a root in one of those five emotions. There are many, many voices. They have tentacles, if you will. But they all have a root in these five emotions. What you see, what you hear, what you feel, what you touch, what you taste. Your sensory perception is the flesh or the carnality of man. To walk in the flesh is to walk according to your old senses. So what's this? If I'm going to flow in the spirit, which means to exist in it and operate my life and my mind in it by capturing thoughts that are not like God, I must realize the authority I have when 
Fish rise against me. Fowl rise against me. The earth rises against me. I need to understand my authority so I can flow in the Spirit. 